And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at the demise of the left. <laughs> the loss of the left's last remaining critical thought capacities. <laughs> now we've all seen that Elon Musk, I know we're going through the Elon Musk one quickly, has bought out Twitter and it sent the left on all levels into a meteoric decline mentally, hasn't it? <laughs> it's gone through the roof with pretty much everyone that represents the establishment railing against him. <laughs> which has been absolutely glorious, hasn't it, to watch on Twitter and etc. I've been loving it. I don't know about you, everyone. I've gone through, like, three barrels of popcorn. <laughs> more, more, more. Let's see more. Well, anyway, we're getting a bit sidetracked. He did put this graph out, this image out, and this is sending the establishment mental, absolutely mental on all levels, and I'll, we'll go through a few of them after this. But as you can see, he's basically said that in the year 2008, he was classed as centre left. But because the left and his fellow liberals have decided to go further and further and further radically left, he's been left right in the centre and the centre's moved now and now in 2021 he actually sees himself as more politically aligned with the conservative right. Well obviously this has sent them all into a right uproar. So much so that the Mail Online has actually come out with the biggest stupidest headline I've ever heard. Elon Musk hints he's shifted to the right over the last 14 years as liberals morphed into woke progressives. Twitter sees exodus of woke arati since his 44 billion takeover with Kamala and AOC and Bernie losing thousands of followers. I think that's more than likely something to do with the fact that they're trying to get rid of the algorithm that caused that in the first place. But that's beside the point. <laughs> now as you can see, in the graph that Elon put up, in the image he's put up, he doesn't move. The right doesn't move. But the left does. <laughs> Quite a lot large amount. Now obviously this has sent the political class in the US down a deep dark rabbit hole and they're saying things along the lines of free speech will be bad for everybody. Don't understand how that logic works but then the Democrats have never been one for logic have they? Well it seems that it's not just the Democrats. we've got Republicans also getting on board with trying to figure out a way to continue with their Twitter dominance and that's an algorithm dominance as we all know. Everyone has been silenced or shadow banned or removed that don't agree with the establishment. Well, now it seems that big bipartisan bill in America is being pushed that will push big tech and big media, i.e. legacy media, i.e. lamestream media, to make content distribution deals, i.e. restrict everybody else that isn't them. So as you can see, they're actually panicking. The reason they're panicking is because they've got full control. They've got control of the narrative on social media completely, haven't they? And the Republicans that are going through and helping this should be ashamed. Lindsey Graham, John Kennedy, Cynthia Loomis, Susan M. Collins and Rand Paul. Shocking, really. This is just them trying to hold on to the last remaining illusions of democracy, is it not? If they're doing a bipartisan one on this, Republicans should be ashamed of themselves. Well, it doesn't end there, everyone. The UK are getting involved. Now, now, as we're probably aware, Pretty Patel was trying to get Twitter to continue with their censorship campaign and remove of opposing voices and criticism by demanding that they block legal but harmful content. Who decides who's, what's harmful? Obviously the state. And what's harmful to the state? Criticism. So there you go. So not only are the left getting involved, but also the fake right conservative. They're also getting involved. And it doesn't end there. Because Elon Musk has actually taken control of Twitter, the UK are now demanding that Elon Twitler, I'm calling him Twitler, <laughs> keeps Twitter receiving responsible by censoring content. Does this sound like a Conservative Party? Does this sound like a Tory even? This is absolutely disgraceful and it's the last attempt for them to keep hold of power by the same as what the left do, refusing to discuss, refusing to debate and refusing to allow their points of view to be contested. Ministry of Truth for the World, including on our side by our own politicians. Absolutely disgusting everyone. Let me know what you think. I'd like to know your opinion on this one. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out. Stay sane, see you on the next one. <laughs>